Welcome back to another episode, brand new episode of Gamer Boy Gossip with me, your host, your only host, Dustin, aka Stinky. We've got your, we got a couple guests on the podcast this week, uh, Woody, aka, or Andrew, aka Woody, and Nicholas, aka Ice. I'm glad, glad to be here. Thanks for having yeah, me. I'm glad, yeah, glad you guys could join me this week. Yeah, I think I might just crash here for a few <laughs> episodes if you don't mind. Yeah, you know, a couple, two, three episodes. Why don't you? Mm-hmm. Why don't you? Well, let's just get you right into it because I don't want to waste any time because uh, I am trying to keep this positive energy because I have a lot of negative energy just flowing through me right now. So uh, I don't want to dwell on that. So let's talk about Angie. Our Woody wanted to bring up some. Um, this hol- I haven't heard of this. I the, the first time I heard about this is whenever you brought it up to me. The Holocaust Museum in Fortnite. In Fortnite. In Fortnite. Yeah. So I saw this like last week, and when I first saw it, um, I was like, "Is that a meme?" And then I was like, "Okay, if that's a meme, someone's really gonna get some flack from it." So I clicked on the article, and like, yeah, uh, the one I got on the opening of a new virtual Holocaust Museum in Fortnite. Um, And this is actually from the day after that I sent that. Um, It actually says, has been delayed after white supremacists rallied anti-Semites to attack it. Wow. I mean, yeah. so I know nothing of... Basically, so what they were going to do is, um, you know, if you haven't played Fortnite, they, you can basically create anything you want, um... On, like as a game mode on Fortnite, and I guess Fortnite, the company, or not Fortnite, the company, Epic Games said that they were going to make their own map that was going to uh, kind of remember the Holocaust and bring more awareness to it. Um, and they said, you know, the first few responses they, that they got were like uh i don't know if this is going to be a good idea like all this stuff um but they said you won't be able to like take guns into it you won't be able to dance you won't be able to emote you won't be able to do anything but just like run through it and it'll have different exhibits kind of bringing to light uh, all the things that happened during the holocaust and yeah so- I mean, I, i'm i'm seeing it i'm looking at pictures right now it's actually like a it's a Fortnite huge building, yeah, and it has like voices of the forgotten yeah. signs on it, and then inside it does have like pictures of um like not not any like graphic pictures, but actual pictures that they uploaded onto of people exhibits in, yeah. with little like sections next to it. This yeah. is a this is so wild that they would do that in Fortnite. Well, and like to the so, to... I have a, I have a quick yeah. question before you continue. Was this because this was in the creative mode, right? This was built in creative. I, this isn't like in their main. Map. No, 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 no. That's what no, I'm right. No, yeah, it's in okay. creative so this, 2.0. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so was this? This wasn't created by Epic, right? This was just created by a, a game, a player. I think so. Yeah, I'm reading more into it. Yeah, I, I really didn't read into it much because I wanted to kind of live okay. react to it and kind of see what. What's going right. on? But yeah, uh, it looks like it's independent gaming designer Luke Bernard. Yeah, yeah. Who's building the museum. Yeah, I just saw that. So, and I'm gonna read this. Pet. It says so. Bernard is the guy who created it, <laughs> and this is crazy. He said Bernard. This is from Axios. Bernard says, "Quote: People take selfies at Auschwitz and play Pokemon Go at Holocaust monuments. You cannot stop people from doing stuff, and if you live in fear of that happening." then you would hide away anything about the Holocaust, he says. Okay, that may be true, but that brings I feel like that brings up a broader issue of there shouldn't be Pokemon Go stops or... Yeah. <laughs> but there, there should be a... At Holocaust monuments, that, there should not be gaming or entertainment type... I, I don't know, I, experiences, I guess... Yeah, I mean that's at the somber. <laughs> yeah. that blow. I'm not laughing because I think it's it's funny. I'm laughing because it's blowing my mind that there should even be. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he just means maybe he maybe there aren't, and he's just saying this. This is just coming from the what. This is a quote. This guy said. Yeah. 
you know, that he, they're playing it. But I think, I don't know. I, 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 I understand. I want to give my, yeah, go for it. You go for it. If you, I understand, I, I think it's, it's great to, the idea behind it is great, but yeah, I mean, just, it's just, it just it doesn't opening it up in it being in a, a fucking video game yeah in Fortnite, the cartoony of cartoon video game yeah a shooter so that he a, he tweeted yes like what are you doing he, he tweeted um you know the first holocaust museum in Fortnite has been approved by today by epic games super proud that we will be the first to bring something like this to Fortnite's 400 plus uh, 400 million plus players 80 percent of americans haven't visited a museum so this is game changing i mean like i totally get that message and that motivation to do it i'm thinking right. when he says oh you won't be able to emote you won't be able to do all this dude people hack into some of the largest corporations in the world and i would like hate to see someone be able to somehow do something with this to where it just like i I doubt right. people would do oh, that, but yeah, like I didn't even, even just d oh, disabling yeah, like are... emotes Whoa. and stuff, like even that would be horrible to where you can they could get in, enable emotes, enable you know dancing or whatever or, or guns. It's just like yeah. that would I mean, ruin so I didn't, everything. I hadn't read that far about. I mean, it was just the next paragraph, yeah. but I, I read that it says, you know, these they're not the ability to emote stuff will be turned yeah. on and i i mean i understand it a little i get where he's coming from if if he's being genuine i get it i mean i understand the thought process behind it or the the, the desire to do something like this yeah i mean if he but... if he wants to make it accessible i mean people have done that in the past i that that just reminded me on um on minecraft there's a there's a minecraft like uh server i guess that people have built a library that you can go and write actual books in the world into books in Minecraft. And so people in countries who might have like limited oh, um, privileges books. on reading, like the United they States can, of America, where they're about. right. They can uh, wow. go look at whatever book they want to find. It's like an actual library cool. in the Minecraft. So if it's, it's, if it's about bringing accessibility to okay, yeah. the knowledge, I think it's great, but it is that, is on the on the fine just, line. just reading the headline yeah. and the you know a couple key points it seems on the surface it's just like what yeah uh, like this does not seem yeah. like an appropriate uh -huh. and respectful place to do yeah. this but now leading reading more into it i guess my opinion like i said guys i have this hatred coursing through <laughs> i wouldn't well, well, say hatred hatred is not it's, it's, it's on a well, lighter let, let's switch note to the of things in Fortnite. Yeah, let's switch to the different yes. Fortnite stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I I threw this one uh, in the old. The, or, yeah. Let's just well let's let's stay on Fortnite for a little while. What are your guys's favorite and skins and emos while we're here? Because I have some pulled up. I know you guys were talking about. It. Ice was talking about it earlier. Yeah. I wish I had uh, my. What is your what's your favorite? My favorite skin. Before I, I just want to, because I don't remember a lot of these, so I'm not going to do much talking here. DJ, was it Yonder? Yonder. Yoder? The yeah. Donkey? Yonder. Oh, God. Is, is I, that the, is that that the llama? Favorite. Yes, the oh, DJ llama. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, that is my favorite one yeah. by far. And then. You, you got what? some iconic ones, like the Black Knight is always an iconic yeah. one. Um, I think back to when we started playing Fortnite in season three uh, with the. Uh, all the space themed like the dark or the dark voyager i think is yep. one of the names but all of those my my go-to skin and it's still my go-to og skin whenever we play is the lifeguard uh skin with the rubber inflatable oh, yeah. unicorn <laughs> on the back and she's holding a balloon pickaxe and yeah. uh, what was the Oh, the the trail whenever you're flying through the air is beach balls. So very much a, a summer thing. Dude, I, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I haven't played Fortnite in a while. But do they do any tracking like Rocket League does with the different skins and stuff? 
I don't think so. I oh, wish dude, they if they did idea, that, yeah. I would be I scared to see like some of the hours played <laughs> on these some of these skins. Uh, I mean, yeah. I was a fan. Well, I got a new account. I wish I could have my old. Oh old yeah, that's shirt. right. I you had to. You switched account. over from a little console boy to a PC boy. Yeah, to a to a man. I went from being a boy Graduated. to a man. Yep. Uh, I I I really um. I don't remember what seasons it was, but when they started doing the stages of the skin, and like the first one that I had was Carbide, that blue yeah. guy, and you kept like adding on. Yep, that was armor. Yeah, that, that was, was my was favorite one. one. Yeah, that was my first favorite. Yeah. Uh, my first and then favorite. Drift the next season, but he was the sick. the one that had the fo- ended up having the fox mask and the robe, and it was all purpley yeah. energy. That one was pretty good too. Um, I love Peely. Peely's just Amazing. Is, yeah. You're He's thinking of Sunstrider Ice. Sunstrider was mine. Yeah. Yeah. Peely, yeah. That was a good one. And I love I love how Peely starts off as a fresh banana. <laughs> and as you keep going through the game, it starts to yeah. get more and more wilted. Oh yeah. That's yeah, just that was, amazing. That was, that was good. Fortnite was, was I, a great I, game. The Ice King was great. Just, and the prisoner. Yep, those were just two. All those two. Those are awesome. I think those two were probably the introg. I love that. Okay, season was it season six? I think season seven. I think that was probably my favorite. Was your favorite, the the winter season. season. Yes, dude. I fucking happy Hamlet, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, we dude, always went. We're trying to I sell there. real estate yeah. in Happy Hamlet, dude. It was like every single time we jumped out of the bus, Happy, yeah, happy Hamlet, estate, dude. Yeah. We got to go to Happy. It's such a good. All right, what about your favorite team? emotes? What, what, what what's okay, your favorite well, emote? I don't know the There's name. a distinction we got to do here. Is it I, emotes and sprays? I think you or guys is it emotes that. first and then sprays? Because no, we no, know no, the favorite emotes. spray. Uh, I never use sprays, though. Potato aim. Oh, yeah. Potato aim. Yeah. Was, yeah. Potato aim is the best spray yeah. by far. Yeah. That's no matter way. how good someone thinks they are, if you go up to them and you kill them and before they yeah. leave or they're down still and you spray potato aim right in front yeah. of them. I remember that happening to me. That's the only one that yes, needs the only I remember like almost throwing my controller multiple times after someone would kill me and potentially have to be sprayed down. I'd be so mad. <laughs> to the point where like, you know, you get those yells that cut through the mic and it goes basically silent. Yeah. Oh, you do. I you have do. a lot of those. But yeah. Um my emo I don't know what it's called, but you know what it is. It's the one of them. Like the, what is it? <laughs> don't, don't, what, I'm doing it. The trombone. The burr, burr, I'm physically burr, doing burr, it right yeah. now. No, it's where you're, it's the, on his, with your hands, you know, that I, the one I did <laughs> in that clip. Oh, the whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, yes, yes. The whoa, yeah, yeah. That clip was hilarious. You didn't even mean to. We were playing Fortnite just randomly know, one night, really and I saw Stinky do this. Fortnite, whoa. He, oh, hit, yes. hit the whoa. He was is that what it is? Mm-hmm. And we were like in a fight together and he killed this dude and he was trying to like switch guns or something and he hit the wrong button and he woed right. on him like right after he killed him. <laughs> Immediately I like, after I killed him. Did you mean to do whoa, that? Whoa, dude. Uh, it was like perfect. Oh, uh, that was so, that was perfect. And then ever since then, that was like what, two, two and a half years ago? That was, yeah. that's been my favorite one. Yeah. Ever since. I would oh, say I have the, that's the great. my favorite emote to just like piss people off after you kill them or like kill their whole team is the uh, the uh, oh my god I just lost the name of it uh, the Paul Blart no Paul Blart Paul Call Take the L. on the oh segue, yeah, yeah, yeah on the, uh, like it, oh, you're just in the loot and you just start going yeah. through all the loot and picking it up that was a fun one uh, yeah. I also like uh, what is it? The wiggle Slither. one, yeah. or the slither, or whatever. It's There's called. a lot of them. Yeah, that that was my we'll favorite. A top ten, before. and when we get video, we'll have to the act out our favorite ones. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Speaking oh, of cooked, what is this in a cooked in Rocket League ice? Oh, so well. Rocket League this this past weekend had their um, World Championship Rocket League Championship Series, mm. I guess it's called. Okay, now I get it. And 
the everyone everyone in Rocket League, I guess, has a big thing about you know, are, are you team NA like North American players are are better or is it you know EU players are better? And this year, definitely EU took the cake because the top four teams were all European teams. And most of the players on the top, uh, well, I say this, a lot of the players on the top American teams or the uh, North American teams were from Europe. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Team but vitality, this baby. was the first time, first time I watched a Rocket League like championship tournament. It was electric, <laughs> man. Yeah. Like, I tell you, they had, dude, he, dude, was, he was live tweeting like seven shit. texts in like two minutes talking about all this shit. <laughs> well, it started off as like a joke, but then I actually got into it. And I was like, "Oh my god!" So the, it it was t- it took place in Germany, and they had a whole stadium with a with a elevated platform in the in the middle with the two rows of the three um, computers side by side oh, facing yeah. each other. And the whole state it it was literally like a mini sports event. There had to have been over ten thousand people in that in that. Uh, well, so arena. I would have thrown up on stage. stage. Right there, I say ten thousand, but it there was so many people there, and they acted like actual sports fans. Like they were cheering yeah. for their team, they were cheering against the, their other well, fans. They were what cheering do you mean actual them. sports. <laughs> well, you know, I've never seen an esports event like that. Like even even the Fortnite um, World Championship did not get as hype as what this tournament got. With the French, the French Hell fans yeah, showed out yeah, big yeah. in this Hell in this did, tournament. Man. man, they were there and they were loud, and they were they were present. It was awesome to see. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, NA got absolutely gobsmacked they by need Il- Europeans. They need Ill Gang, to and come it kind of pissed me off. Take the cake. Ill Gang, yeah, Ill Gang would definitely. Um, we we yeah. get to the quarterfinals yeah. for sure. Uh, Ilk, Ilk Gang is a story for another pod. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. They'll you guys will learn what it means. But uh, do you know how many people were there? I'm that's trying not... to find, but it's not I'm like I'm not getting anything. Um, um, I do oh, I do go. know oh, wait, that no, that's viewership. The the semifinal game between the two French teams, and this was basically a championship because these teams were far and above the better of the four teams. Whoever won that uh, semis was going to win the entire thing. There were, I think, 275,000 people watching Lord. on Twitch that, that game. It was well, either 175,000 or 275,000. Right here. The grand finals, which featured Team Vitality and another French roster and Team BDS, saw a peak of 425,196 that viewers. That is wild. Almost Man. half a million people <laughs> watching the Rocket League. That's a lecture. I'm have, not finding. Yeah, I don't a, find attendance. Attendance. But if you. Um, where was it? Ta- where did it take place? Uh, somewhere in uh, well, Germany. It took place I don't. In Dusseldorf. I mean, like, That's I don't it. know what. Yeah, I don't know where the uh, what the stadium. I don't either. It, was, it, it looks not... like a hockey arena. Some type of Ooh. arena. It was an indoor. Yeah, arena. and there's it sure. looks like hockey, and if it, that looks sold out, even the upper decks. I mean, let's it, say it's even the upper quarter. decks. The upper decks was was where the actual for for team Carmine Core who took you know third or fourth they they lost in the semis yeah. their their fans were called the blue wall and they were all dressed in blue there was someone there with an anime mask on monkey d luffy from one piece <laughs> and he was going crazy dude it was <laughs> like i said it, i've never seen anything like it it reminded me of the peak up, fortnite tournaments I just pulled up the uh, that you would see on twitch the pricing for these tickets that's that t- upper deck one hundred and eight dollars a ticket, and then the four core wow. the four corners Dang. were one hundred and nineteen, oh, and then the middle sections on the, like both sides uh, and both ends one hundred and thirty. Yeah, and then they even sold pavilion passes for people to watch. There's it, a re- like, the group stages and stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, there. Okay. okay. It's a little bit less. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, the PSD Bankdome in Dusseldorf, oh. Germany, is where it took place. 
It says the arena has a capacity of 15,151 people and 14,282 people for hockey matches. Let's say conservatively, there were probably 9,000 people at in in the one picture I saw. That's just yeah. the one picture I saw. Yeah, and I, mean, I saw. Was, I remember when I was watching it. Whenever they go to the stands every now and then, it looked full. But on camera, you can make things look full or empty depending on you know where you're pointing the camera. Yeah, or what time and everything. That's so. insane. But let me tell you, man, that got me <laughs> wanting to grind Rocket League so I much. Know, man. Yeah, I I think I might get signed to an org sometime this this next season. So if anyone's looking, Ice Machine Twelve. I'm, I'm I mean, free, you went from I'm a free agent. You went from never playing earlier this year to being honestly pretty solid, and you haven't. I mean, yeah, you have grinded. I, a I got bit. to I got to Diamond One and ranked for like nice. one game. For which for what? That's on oh, trios. That's pretty good. Oh hell yeah! I want to. I think that's that's like the highest I've ever gotten. Mm-hmm. I got on duos. I got to Diamond Three. I think. And I'm playing on mouse and keyboard. I'm not playing with That's the most controller. impressive part. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna bring that up. I was gonna bring that up. That's yeah. why I'm kind of a you honestly I'm kind of afraid what? to switch over now because I feel like it would be easier, but gonna I'm gonna say. have a setback trying That's to relearn the say. controls because it's been forever since I've played on a controller. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was gonna exactly. I remember what I was when you say. got it, you were like, crap, Just, I don't oh, have a cord to plug in my Computer, yeah, my controller, yeah. so I'm just gonna play yeah. mouse and keyboard. <laughs> and you still have it? Have you still, I still haven't gotten got the actual? You know that. Oh yeah. my god, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. That's why yeah. I said it. No, I still have it. But, anyways, I, I will definitely be watching the next Rocket League Championship Series. Um, and I think my favorite team is is Carmine Core. I'm gonna be watching them for sure. Yeah, I think they'll go, they'll, they'll make it to the championship round next year. I'm calling it. I'm sticking with Vitality because the interview with that kid. Oh, was so Zen, awkward. yeah, and a lot of these yeah. players um, are in their teenager years. Like, oh, I know, I know. That's yeah. why I love it because they're they're. I was watching another streamer, <laughs> are... and he was saying how in professional Rocket League or in comp, um, if you're signed to an org and you're over 20 years old, you are past your prime and you are an ancient player. If you're over 20, yeah. 100%. You know that that stage was Dude, wild. Uh, it's a good thing that they were airing that stadium out because that would have been <laughs> crazy. Dying? What, what, I'm going are you down, dying? Please. Are you choking? I'll see oh yeah. man, dude! I was eating ramen and I sucked a spice in the back of my throat. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh ramen, Dude, that's the ramen guy. Can you wait until the next uh, the next bit we do to actually just kick the can? Yeah. Okay. All right. What else we got on here? Yep. That was. Uh, okay. So I've been seeing this a lot. No, actually, let me. I want to bring this up first. If you sell pizza, buy the pie, not buy the slice. And you don't cut all the way through the dough when you're making the slices. You are one of the most diabolical people on earth. And you should not be allowed to walk freely. That's all I'm saying. I, it drives me so crazy like like whenever you get like a get pizza home. and you try to pull a yes. piece and like half the cheese from the other piece yes. comes off yet yeah, that or it just doesn't like i had a pizza the other day from a local restaurant not a single slice oh, was cut no. the cutting right there i'm not even exaggerating it was like they had they did it with a fucking <laughs> the end of a pencil it's like what they tried to cut it with because it was not even close, man. Like well, then you got to think about the lead. Seventy-five percent of the pizza was still fully attached. <laughs> I was so, I got so aggravated. I was so. You aggravated. almost want to take it back to him and be like, "Can you fix this, please?" I was downright <laughs> perturbed, and I don't use that 
I don't get like that. Coming, at all. coming from a guy that worked at a pizza joint for a year and delivered pizza, and I had the responsibility of yeah, you're cutting all the pizzas. Yeah, that's just amateur cutting right there. I mean, I've never used. I wasn't fancy. I didn't have one of those big, like you know, uh, half half slice like Slide, or, or like you know half disc right. things where you just roll just, over. The big but I think yeah. that's what yeah. throws everybody off because when I get a pizza cutter, I'm s- I'm still like when I get a pizza cutter in my hand, I'm boom. But, I'm yeah, I've got, I had my middle. little system down to where I could do yeah. it in like three seconds because we were like slinging pies, you know. I oh, you mean speed? Oh, I mean, same. No, but course. I I you pushed down to where I would almost cut through the box because we had to put the pizza in the box and then cut it. Um, but I catch myself like when I I pick a cutter nowadays. That one's for I free. put it on the cutting board and I almost do it really quick because I'm so used to it. But yeah, it's really not that hard. I mean, it's it's dough. You want a trophy? You, you can cut through dough. Do you want a medal for that? I, I would. I mean, I just don't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was easy. the best one, you, and I never. I even threw in those little enough. garlic packets. <laughs> you're supposed to charge for extra ones, but if someone said throw in an extra garlic packet, Dude. I was. Oh, that you're Call a real the fucking a white plug. house. You're. Anything Yo, if you oh, yeah. if you shit on yeah. Papa John's garlic sauce. Fuck you. Yeah, Papa yeah. John's garlic sauce is my favorite part of pizza. <laughs> I've, al- I've always said that. <laughs> I've always said that from day one. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, dude, that, that does infuriate me with, yeah. with the pizza cutting. Um, do you guys like your your pizzas cut? I guess it depends on the crust. So Square. Don't get me wrong. Square or traditional cut? So I think square is mainly just a St. Louis thing anyways. I don't think they they don't really do that anywhere else. Like really anywhere else, even even with like. I'm not saying they don't. I'm saying it's not like a popular thing. Yeah, thin crust pizza is not really a thing anywhere else. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, it is. It it it. So St. Louis style, because thin crust, yes, like like Pizza Hut, they sell thin crust, but it's not the same as St. Louis style. St. Louis style is a round thin crust. With well, it's a thin, it's a thin crust, but there is no outer rim. Yeah, really. Yeah, the, it, that it, that it comes just up. Ends. And, yeah, yeah. It, it it just stops. So it's it's it doesn't come up like some crust does. Yeah, uh, like your normal piece of pizza. Yeah, and it's made with Provel cheese. Wait, uh, no, it's Provel. Provel. Provel? Yeah. No, it is Provel. Provel. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking. I said Provolone. Whatever I said. Before. It's been a while since uh, Stinky has lived in St. Louis. We're all from Missouri, and Stinky used to live in St. Louis. I'm currently living yeah, in St. Louis. Stinky always thinks that he's in St. Louis. He just wants to get back there so bad. Yeah, he's a St. Louis boy. I do, honestly. No, I want to get back to Denver is where That's I want to get back to. That's where I miss the most. I have noticed that almost every pizza joint here, besides the, uh, the actual brand, or like the uh, chain store pizzas, uh, the one, the local joints all use Provel. Doesn't matter what it is. And sometimes I don't really want Provel on there. I just no, want a regular like, yeah. thing. I'm like I don't have anything wrong with it. I like it, but it's every pizza. You can't even not put it on there. I gotta be. Yeah, I gotta sure. be in the mood for St. Louis yeah. style with some Provel. Um, I'm about to ask a question yeah. that is yeah, going 100%. to strike a nerve with. I would say. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. We never even answered I Nicholas's oh. question. Yeah, who, what's your favorite? I prefer mine normal, like a triangle slice. I would agree. It depends on the pizza, but if I'm have if I'm choosing one, like that's the what I have. That's it's gonna be it's gonna be a normal normal hand tossed from Pizza Hut, which I know is gonna piss a lot of people off. Yeah, but and it's gotta be it's gotta be firm enough that if I like bend the crust of the pizza, the pizza stays upright and the tip doesn't droop down. Oh yeah, like you mean if you just pick it up and you don't have your full hand under it, yes, supporting yeah. the full pizza. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Yes, yeah. hundred. I I agree. I don't want to well, put the pizza on top of my like above my head and like let it droop 
or like dribble into like my mouth. You I don't use the word dribble that. right there. See, I don't. I want it. I want there to be some give. I want there to be some give. I don't want it to just droop over like it's a wet paper towel. But I do want it. I want it to be like a moist cardboard. Yeah. Yeah. That flexibility, not the taste or the texture, but the flexibility. You know, right? Like if there's some weight on it, it bends a little. You can see a little bit of pin, but nothing's yeah. falling off. It's still yeah. up there on it. It's, it's I, safe. I would say it's that I would go with squares because it makes me think that I can eat more. Because um, I like, oh, I ate eight squares instead of like three slices. No, that's weird to think about. Uh, I'm probably not conventional thinking, but I'm a big squares guy. Um, even if it's a, even if, if it's a hand tossed. Um, that's kind of going against the grain, but you know that's what your boy does. Yeah, um, I didn't mean to not answer your question, Ice. I actually kind of forgot that you asked it because we got on a tangent about St. Louis style pizza, but that brought mm -hmm. a question to my mind: thoughts on pineapple on pizza? Oh, absolutely, yes. If you if you're one of those people who are like, now, because I don't, I'm one of those people. Pizza is a mm -hmm. canvas mm -hmm. on which you create art yep. in my yep. opinion you might not like it all i but think ice is gonna be there. i think ice is gonna have a different you know? opinion you could not be more wrong <laughs> I, it, you it, how no it is how it is the one of the worst oh. toppings on oh. pizza okay I've okay okay that that is fair that's fine that's fine are you not saying you're saying it's okay if people do it though, right? No. no. <laughs> oh, go fuck yourself, man. Everyone, everyone Dude. who does that should be put in prison. No, shut. No, 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 no. I've never. Oh, oh, god, man. Now I'm thinking differently yeah. about you. Yeah, I knew that was gonna. I, yeah. I thought it was gonna create a divide, and I think it's gonna create a divide with a lot of no. listeners. I mean, I'm one of those guys that I can eat it, and I I love it on pizza. Um, but I always thought that it just like it only belonged on uh, Canadian bacon pineapple. And then when I started working, oh, yeah, dude, yeah. when I start, no, I don't think right, it only right, should right. be Hawaiian oh. style. Yeah, but I that's why I, I love just a nice plain Hawaiian when we, style. When we when we would you work at Papa John's and I had the late shift, I had this cool manager. Can't even remember his name, but dude would get so high. And he would just put on. We 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 had always have to calibrate the oven um, with a cheese pizza just to make sure that it's cooking right and you know everything like that. And this dude would a little behind load the this shit Trace up tickets. with like cheese and bacon and peppers and like everything. And he would just <laughs> slap pineapple on that thing. And then you get to eat it. I mean, we're not going to just throw it away. So like all the right. workers would Basically, like, yeah. I'd be going on my little deliveries. I have like two or three deliveries. Take me like 20 minutes. And I would see him making that pizza. And as soon as I left, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, I'm getting like two slices of that thing. Yeah. And I'm getting back. And that's going to slap. Uh, he would throw like yeah, some yeah. barbecue sauce on that. Or he'd throw some like different sauce Love on it. it. It was the yes. best stuff. I can't even remember the creations he made, but Dang. I want to recreate it. That man needs to be Quentin. Well, His name was take, Quentin. I was gonna say that he needs to yes, be a corporate level. If he he needs to be, but see, you take the artist out of his I thing. I don't. I don't think he wanted house. I don't think he wanted. I mean, and this guy uh, was creating shit. That's what and, I'm saying. He and, just and out he, there he wasn't. He love. wasn't manager material doing because love. he would also lose his temper so easily. It would just start slinging shit across the kitchen, <laughs> and like I thought I was gonna get hit a couple times, but Dude, and that's a... what you get whenever you put <laughs> pineapple on fucking pizza. No, he made some no. absolute that's gorgeous troubled artists. You get damage to company property yeah. whenever you do that, like no emotional wrong. damage to you're me. Wrong. I mean, I thought I was gonna get whacked in the head. That's like saying. If there's a game you don't like to play, that it shouldn't be allowed to be a game. That's what I that would say. I, I would take the stance that Ice has I, with sardines. I, I, don't, I don't think sardines belong on pizza. That's I, do, I don't like them, but I think 
if you want to eat them, yeah, pizzas. It's like I said. You know what? I think sardines <laughs> belong on pizza more than pineapple does. <laughs> oh, now you're those are you're honestly, seriously kind of honestly, those yeah, are fighting dude. words, dude. I'm. I don't even like sardines, uh, but I think they I'm go better on pizza than fucking pineapple. Four episodes in now. All right, bef bef before oh, before we get up, Doug. too heated oh. here, let's let's oh, tangent a little fuck. bit. Too late. We're talking Too about pineapple late. on pizza. We're talking about sardines on pizza, and I was thinking about uh, you know all like the the cravings that you get when you're gaming, and then have you guys seen those TikToks um, where they? It's basically like this company that warehouses all these crazy snacks from around the world, like really different flavored uh like chips or like candies or things have you seen those before um i've i've had some I'm weird flavors of, of, of chips yeah. yeah but i haven't seen that company or the TikTok. so no. so what did you say now there's tiktok accounts okay. and it's basically like a Sorry. company account and they warehouse store all these different like very yeah. unique flavored snacks from around the world and you can buy like a random oh, really? box from them and they'll send you like five snacks. I think oh, we should do yeah, that. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's some crazy. That'd be, that'd be cool. Yes. There's some crazy flavors it. on there. But uh, like, I don't know if you guys have seen them, but there's like wasabi flavored ice cream, which I'm not doing that. But like curry uh, flavored ew. protein bars. Coffee flavored jerky snacks? Like, what are these things? It's crazy, mm. but fruit flavored potato chips. We need to do this. Yeah, we we actually had um, whenever I was working at a um, my last job at a college as an athletic trainer. My athletic training staff would have weekly meetings on Wednesdays, and it would be someone's turn every week. It was a thing before I got there. I got pushed into it. Where if it, if it was your turn to bring the snacks for the meeting, you would you would have to go out and get a snack that's not a conventional snack. You, so you would have to find something like this, like weird flavored chips, I like that, and everything like that. Um, and it and it was pretty cool. I, I the one that sticks with me, and it's because my wife got them, and they're actually pretty good. Um, the, it's from an Asian market down the road from where we used to live, and they had uh, I don't know what the I don't know what the company was because I don't speak or read Japanese, but it was just a shrimp flavored those. ship. That, oh, oh, they were oh man, dude, they were they were so good. Wow. I would get those in a heartbeat. You know they're good, or are you... I I had them. Yeah, we. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're very very good. Interesting. Yeah. That makes me. I love shrimp. Yeah. I love. We shrimp. we're good. We got to do that Sounds when we're back together in person. Oh yeah, that yeah, that sounds, and, and that quick, sounds amazing. Quick we should thing, try just it. for all the the listeners, we're we're planning on getting some video. We're planning on doing in person stuff. So there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. stop we're getting fucking all moaning. these comments. Yeah, stop like, putting oh, hate online, dude. Be I am person or yeah, like gosh. you gotta all shut right, up dude. that stinky boy every once in a while. Like we get it, and we're gonna like put some things in. Yeah. But yeah, we we there's there's things coming. Especially the guy like who that, talked that, about the quality of my that. mic right now. You know who you are, and I'm coming for you. Yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah, guy. Seriously. That Go touch grass. Jared. Jared Kleesner. <laughs> okay. Calling you out. If there's a yeah. Jared Kleesner, I promise we're not talking about you. Or are well, we? Maybe. Well, I am. Sound off in the comments you. if you're Jared Kleesner. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, if you're Jerry Gleason. Uh, what else we got on here? We know where you live. We know you. Which window is yours? Okay. Subtitles. Same thing as fucking pizza cutting. <laughs> Grow up. Unless it's a foreign language, that's the only reason you need subtitles. And every now and then, this is the only, that's the only reason you need subtitles on all the time. If you're English and you can't understand another English accent, 
then I don't know. Go get some culture in your life. I will because I about four, about thirty thirty percent of the time on my YouTube videos that I watch that are English, I will have subtitles on. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Actually, YouTube videos, is it, what do you mean? Like, is it, you're watching games? Gaming? I'm watching, yeah, gaming on or YouTube whatever. videos. Okay, yeah. that's different. I think that is different. Because the reason I don't like it, it's not for what you think. It's not, like, if you can't hear it, I get that. I understand why you would want subtitles. I don't understand if you use them. But it's because, like, you're, it, TV, TV shows and films are made it's a visual medium, so you need to be watching it and listening it, seeing everything that the director wanted in that shot for that reason. That's why you're watching a video. If you want, <laughs> you could read a book. Read the book first. Yeah, stop trying to read a book and watch a movie at the same so. time. That's what it's taking away from. And yeah, maybe it's petty of me because I, I thought he was going to say because I can't read. I can't read. Like, I can't control my ADHD <laughs> from just reading the whole fucking thing instead of not paying attention to him. But ah, uh, uh, I that so that that brings up a memory. I'm very um, upset. Right? Do you guys do you guys remember? Obviously, you guys know my favorite uh, movie series of all time. Let's go ahead and say it. One of you know all together Lord now. Three, Rings. two, one. Star Wars. Lord of the Rings. Exactly. Yeah, I, knew it. Um, I was gonna. I try to think of something like My Little Pony. Yeah, when I was getting nervous. That is that a film series, and then that's of course is what came out. I don't. I don't know. I don't watch My Little Pony. Um, <laughs> I but I used to watch The Fellowship of the Ring on like weekends or during the summer in the mornings. Andrew, you probably remember. Um, and I would have. I would not only would have the subtitles on while I was watching. Now, granted, no one else was at the oh, house besides it. maybe maybe Andrew, and it was quiet. You could one hundred percent hear the movie. I would not only have the subtitles on, no. I would pause the movie to go look up a word about the lore of the world if I saw it on the uh, on the screen. Okay, that's also an acceptable... Okay. Yeah, so you kind of jumped the gun on that, Stinky. I think you're going to make a lot of enemies on this episode. <laughs> yeah. I think... I think... That might say something. I think that makes sense with my personality. I get really fired up about something before I really think about it too much. Start thinking um, with your head, not your heart, brother. What were you talking about? Oh, yeah. If you're re-watching... I know. Can't help it. Uh, re-watching a, a, a film series or episodes or something like that, for that reason, that is... I would do something. Because like, if you've seen it, you know you know basically what the shot is and all, all this stuff with it, when everything is in it. And you're just like... When you, you're trying to get more into it. I feel like that's getting worse. All right, fine. Maybe fucking subtitles are fine. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, uh, I'll watch. Sometimes I'll watch live streams of video games or of like Critical Role um, with the. Uh, with I think the Stinky's on. just covering the fact yeah. that he constantly has subtitles on, so he wanted to be part of the cool kids and like be anti-subtitle, and now he's like trying to like yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. Yo, subtitles are fucking whack. Dude. No, I get it, dude. I I'm scarred, yeah, yeah subtitles. from subtitles when I'd have to go to auto tire and parts when Dad needed an oil change, and they'd have subtitles on the screen, but they would go too quick, so you didn't know what was going on. Yeah, it, it's yeah. different with the like because they're so far behind channels, TV oh, channels that's, compared uh, that's to like, like subtitles. Yeah, that's, but uh, I I put yeah, them in yeah, the same right. category yeah, because right. now I can't I can't focus. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. Yeah. I mean, it's it scarred me. Yeah, yeah, and it'd be behind. I put them in the same category because <laughs> I could care less about the differentiation <laughs> between the two. <laughs> Call them what you want. Subtitles, closed captioning. It's the same <laughs> button on YouTube. It's CC for closed <laughs> captioning or for subtitles. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, dude is good. Oh, yeah. you just made me a little bit heated, and we're <laughs> yeah. on, I'm, I'm on the winning side, and I'm getting heated. Right. Let it die. Yeah, at one point they were enemies, and now they're friends. all right. Well, that's as good a place as in. Yeah, now we're. 
All yeah, right. that one kind of flew by. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. This like, week. Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and keep them keep around. You know, 45, know. and they really did. You got to keep coming back. We'll we'll start giving you a little more every week. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Gamer Boy Gossip. Um, we will see you next week with another episode. Bye. Next week, boy. Bye.